second. Thessalonians 1, 11 to 12. We are constantly praying for you for this, that our God will make you worthy of his calling and accomplish every good desire and faithful work in his power. Then the name of our Lord Jesus will be honored by you, and you will be honored by him, consistent with the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Praying for others helps in many ways. It aligns, it aligns our hearts, minds, and souls with God and moves more things than we can even understand or imagine. Prayer is powerful. Prayer helps in many other ways, but that's for another day. When God, when God moves in our hearts, minds, and souls, amazing things happen as we listen and follow his prompting. We may bless others in words or actions, but also sometimes we may simply bask in the awe and the goodness of God in worship. God is glorified when we follow his promptings. Often through the Holy Spirit, when our hearts, minds, and souls listen to him and for him, he will often give us things to do or often encouraging others, blessing others, and bringing others to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. This brings glory to God, honoring him. By the grace given to us, Let's train our brains, our minds, our spirits, and our souls to listen and follow his prompting. Let's practice listening for him. Slow down and practice listening. Pray for God to show you himself and allow him to fill you up with his presence. It is an unmistakable an unfathomable experience, but it's also amazing, exhilarating, yet peaceful, loving, and such a blessing. May each of us experience him, him today in prayer. So thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and have a great day.